welcome to the Red Planet Nightly, where we don't have to be balanced because we're right. We have two very important guests with us tonight to discuss the whispers of allegations of corruption within the Revive Project. Tonight we have Carl Mathis with the Freedom of Information Council. Hello, Carl. Hello, Janice. And Joseph Stone, who is a representative of the Revive Project. Hello, Joseph. Thank you for having me, Janice. Joseph, let's start with the allegations of Revive mishandling government funds. Well, Janice, there simply is nothing to that. Now, Revive will invest all of its capital into the rehabilitation and repair of planet Earth. Anyone who says anything differently is simply trying to divide the sections. You know what? We've heard that story before. Twelve years ago, Charles Bailey was convicted of extortion. Twelve years ago? That was an isolated incident involving one individual. And what happens when several isolated incidents begin to happen simultaneously? For example, Revive has been in existence for centuries. Why did it take so long? Or is it actually completed, but only a select few are allowed to live there? Or. Are the taxpayers of Mars simply lining the pockets of some high-ranking Revive officials? No, this is absolutely absurd. These allegations are unsubstantiated, unjustified, biased, and slanderous. Are they? Then why have the annual records been taken offline from public viewing? Okay, gentlemen, let's just calm down for a bit. Mr. Stone, how do you respond to that? Annual reports have been taken down temporarily from the public because our general system needs to be updated, that's all. So it's flawed? It's merely an update. It'll better serve the company and the great people of Mars. It sounds to me like the great people of Mars have very little to do with this. Thank you very much, gentlemen. That's all the time we have for this very important segment. But stay with us after the break when we discuss the helium shortage and how it affects you. 